no goal, three aside, one goalkeeper on each team. Each goalkeeper will have a protection area around the front where no sticks or any other players allowed to enter. The goalkeeper, the rules for the goalkeeper are very straightforward. He's allowed to hold the ball for six seconds in his hand. When he's throwing it out, it's got to bounce before it reaches the halfway line. Otherwise, it's a free to the opposing team. Um, outfield contact is allowed shoulder to shoulder, however frontal isn't, and it's the same rules as basketball. The person who is there first, whoever's collided into, they get the foul. Uh, with the use of the stick, the stick has got to stay below the knee, both on the upward lift and on the downward lift, and the follow through. The stick has got to stay below the knee. Tackling with the stick, the stick cannot be pushed in between someone else's legs as they're running away. It cannot be used like a ship, a sheep, shepherd's hook. So hook around someone's foot, we saw once or twice today unfortunately, and the other side of it is, um, again, the stick has to stay on the ground when tackling. It doesn't, there's nothing in the rules to say if you have one or two hands on the stick, one hand a lot of people use for running, Look, when they're dribbling the ball for shooting, two hands gives you more power and more accuracy. That's what all refereeing, referees doing his job properly when he's not noticed. However, in floorball, with the speed of the game, usually there's two referees per court, and you cover it at an angle each, at a triangle each on both ends. Things to watch for, as we were described earlier. Um, in general, the, the game flows because we have such a wide space on the floor. There's flowing substitutions, however, there's a black mark on the, on the rink on both sides where the substitutions have to come in and out. A player cannot enter the rink until the, rink, until the other person has left okay. through that black area. The big rules we learned from the broad is the players sitting on the outside on the benches and not allowed to put their sticks into the courts at any stage. If that occurs, a player can be, has to be removed from the court for a period of two minutes. There, there is an official scores, it's five fouls, it's very like basketball in that front, but it, it has no penalties for team fouls, it's just constant fouling. Someone will be asked to, yeah, a, bit, a bit like soccer that way, asked, warned, second warning, asked to leave. You can be asked to leave the court though for a, a cynical foul for two minutes, and the team can be down to three players on the court, a goalkeeper and two outfielders, which has a huge impact. Okay. Are penalty shots awarded if someone's in the process of shooting and someone slides in and takes the player out or does a deliberate foul close to the goal, penalty shots can be approved. In general, they're freeze.